Hey guys, here with another knife that I just finished. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of a big boy here. Uh, this is the largest knife I've made so far. Uh, in case you don't know, I'm new to knife making, just kind of learning, trying out different things. Uh, figured I'd start kind of documenting knives as I finish them. So, what we got here, uh, this is a big guy, a little over a quarter inch thick, 1095. I had this uh, sent out to be professionally heat treated by Peter's Heat Treat to about 60 RC and uh, they cryo, cryo treat it and stuff uh, so I think they do a good job. I got some Tarot Tough handle scales and uh, the second set of scales I made out of Tarot Tough. Uh, anyway I'm, I'm liking this stuff. It's a little more expensive than micarta but it's uh, it's like a more of a cloth type. It's made with more of a cloth and uh, some other kind of resin that's a little different than micarta. Anyway it's it's a little softer a little more grippier, uh, has better shock absorption, and it's lighter. So I'm liking that stuff. It feels really nice. I sand it. I leave it a kind of a rough finish. I only sanded it to about, I think maybe 180 grit sandpaper. Uh, I could go a little finer, but you know, I figure why. It's I like. I really I don't like an overly smooth handle on a big knife. You know. I want to have some grip, and this stuff feels great. Uh, even when your hands start to sweat or anything, uh, you just you got really good grip, and it's kind of soft, and it's got good shock absorption. I like it. So, anyway, some specs on this. Uh, let's see. Got about a nine and a half inch blade, about a nine inch cutting edge. Overall knife is a little over over 14 and a half, almost 14 and three quarter inch. Like I said, uh, the stock is a little just over a quarter inch thick. Now, uh, I did not taper the tang. I have not tried that on a knife yet. That's something that's uh, that I've got to try. I want to, but uh, I don't have really great equipment. I have a really small 2x42 grinder, and it's kind of janky. So I haven't tried that yet. But anyway, uh, I I did drill out the uh, so I, I remove a lot of material from the handle to reduce the weight before I put the handles on. So kind of has a similar effect. So the balance I think is really good. You know, it's a uh, balance is about an inch forward of the handle, which is really about where you want it on a big chopper. I guess you call this a harpoon style, you know? I don't know how... I mean, function-wise, that adds a little extra forward weight for the chopping. I like that. Uh, some people might not like it, you know, if you're going to baton. That might chew up your, uh, your baton a little more, but... Anyway, I like it visually. And I like the, uh, the balance that it adds. But by the way, some of the knives I've made recently, I kind of like trying out other people's basic designs and doing my own take on them. Uh, this design I, I can claim is my own, uh, my design. There's probably other knives out there that are similar, you know, big chopping knife, but uh, I didn't really copy this off anyone. This is my design. Uh, issues that I ran into as a new knife maker and learning, I accidentally ground this blade a little thinner than I meant to. This edge is pretty thin, pretty fine. Uh, I measured it with my calipers and right behind the edge it is 0 0.023 inches which is pretty thin or 0.62 millimeters and I want to compare that to something like a, I measured a ESEE junglist to see what that measured out as and it's the junglist is almost twice as thick behind the edge as this. Uh, so anyway, that has me a little worried about how this is going to do if I'm chopping through hardwood or if I'm trying to, you know, split some wood with it. How is that going to hold up? So I have not made a sheath for this thing yet because I want to chop with it a little bit first and see. I want to make sure it holds up, and like I said. So I'm going to do a little video, I think, of just me testing it out, chopping on some stuff. See how it does. Uh, I'm not going to try and destroy this knife because I got a lot of work into this thing. I just want to make sure it holds up uh, before I make a sheath. 
One other mistake that I made as a new maker, shaping this handle. You know, I'm getting my handle shapes down. Uh, for the most part, some of them are turning out pretty good. This one, uh, one thing I screwed up on here. Let's see, I'll turn it this way. Yeah, you see that? I, I did not mean to make it this thin right here. So that was not intentional. Got a little carried away on my grinder. Yikes, uh, kicking myself over that. But anyway, <laughs> it it doesn't feel too bad. You know, when you move up, you choke up there for this uh, finer grip, it doesn't feel bad. And uh, when you're really wailing on it, you know, chopping hard, you're gonna move your hand back here anyway. And there's plenty of meat in the handle back there where you're, you know, swinging it. So I think it's gonna be okay. It just, uh, just kicking myself there. So one good thing is, I got two of these. I I made this first, and I got a, this other one here that's basically the same design, but I'm learning from what I did on this, and I'm tweaking a few things to try and improve it on this next one. So, the little mistakes and little things I don't like about this one, hopefully I can refine and improve a little bit on this one here. So, oh, here we go. So this is nice and freshly sharpened. It's very sharp. As you can see here pretty fine edge so like I said I think that's it for for this part I'm gonna test this out a little bit maybe I'll splice in some video of me chopping on some stuff and uh, assuming it holds up fingers crossed that it does then uh, after that I'll make a sheath for it so I guess that's it for this thanks All right, so after chopping a bit, as you can see, I cleaned off the blade uh, with some soft scrub, but I haven't sharpened it or anything. Uh, I think you can see it held up. I don't see any, I'm trying to get it in the camera here, geez. Uh, nice and straight. I don't see any rolling or deformation. Obviously it didn't break or warp or anything. Hopefully I can get that on camera. So I think it held up. Obviously, you know, I didn't go crazy on it, but uh, I think it held up to, for what I needed to do. Still seems to be pretty sharp. 
cleaned it, but I haven't resharpened it. Anyway. It worked. Now, time to make a sheath. <laughs> See you guys later.